So it's evening. My brother took the bike somewhere around 2 p.m. And now he came to visit and he has done 53 kilometers and about three hours of riding time and he still has half of the battery capacity left so that means he has done some pedaling as well um, let's take the bike for a test ride and um, uh, I will try to check top speed as you may understand I will have to pedal to keep the motor running but I will try my best not to assist the motor at all so I will try to have the motor do all the work and see what kind of speed I get. I know my brothers told me he can go 30 kilometers an hour. Um, that was with a full battery and uh, I am a lot heavier than he is so I won't be as fast I'm pretty sure. So here we go, I'm just pedaling slowly to keep the motor running and let's see what kind of speed we get, or I get. That was a bit of downhill and I guess it was up to 27, 28, something like that. Uh, I think I have to do some changes in the settings. I put the assist cutoff to 40 kilometers an hour and I'm a bit surprised. I was expecting to have uh, 500 watts of assist up to 30 kilometers or something like that. So. I will soon stop and uh, tweak the settings a bit to see if that makes any difference. So we are going uphill slightly. Uh, power output 3 to 400 volts and going 22 kilometers and this is motor only now I'm just spinning the cranks to keep the motor running okay I'm going to stop here now and tweak the settings there in the control panel so You can see that I had the assist cutoff set to 40 kilometers. I will put it up to max. Max is 72 and see if that makes any difference, like so. Put the assist level back up to 5 and let's try it one more time. I'll turn around here. Let's take a look at the scenery a bit too. We have a beautiful summer evening. It's a bit scary to just hold the handlebars with one hand and going downhill. make a big difference it seems uh, the motor runs out of rpm somewhere around 30 kilometers an hour so that's probably about max you can get with the a 
assist. Let's try one more time here. This is just ever so slightly uphill now. You can see while the speed reaches comes close to 30 kilometers, the motor output goes down. It's somewhere around 100 watts. Uh, now with the battery just half full, so this is probably about as fast as we can go now with, with motor only. So hey, thanks for watching uh, me convert this mountain bike to an e-bike. I hope this was helpful to you and uh, as you could see it's not a plug and play installation really. Even if it looks like that in all the the uh, manufacturer videos, you might end up having to do quite a lot of your own modifications. But uh, if that's your thing, you can turn your normal mountain bike into a nice e-bike. So, happy riding this summer. Take care, be safe.